Hi, we're back. We're going to continue going through the quick start steps for installing Moodle. And I'm here on the Moodle website. I'm going to click on the documentation tab and scroll down to installation quick start. And let's see where we are. Okay, so far we have met the basic requirements. We've got MAMP installed on a local machine, which uh, happens to be a Macintosh. And we've downloaded a copy of Moodle, got that taken care of. We decided to go ahead and download ZIP version instead of trying to uh, clone it uh, through the Git repository. You could do either way, depending on how comfortable you are with uh, command lines. I actually do use Git. Uh, I prefer a graphical user interface, though, and I've got one installed called, uh, well, something I can't remember off the top of my head right now. So here we are. The next step is creating a database. And... Uh, so using the chosen database server, we're going to create an, a new empty database. And if you see here, it's got uh, the SQL instructions. Basically, it's going to create a database called Moodle and set some other information. Then after that, we're going to have to create a combination, um, sorry, a user to uh, access that database. Okay, so before we do that, we've got to get MAMP running. So I'm going to fire up MAMP. And I've got it set to automatically start. And here we go. You can see that it's running on the local host. Yeah, it's got that little 8888 thing, the ports. That, that doesn't matter right now. I'm just going to leave it for that for right now. So we got this set up, so now I'm going to go to PHP My Admin, and I could do this one of two ways. I could go in here and click on databases and create a brand new database if I wanted to, uh, but then I'd have to scroll through all of this stuff, and uh, that would take a lot of time. What's nice is that Moodle's already set. Uh, has already given us a command and I already tested this out so I'm just going to grab this command C to copy then go back to PHP my admin I'm going to click on the SQL tab paste that in by the way I recommend don't don't um, don't execute any code that you don't really understand what it does uh, you can kind of see what this is going to do. It's going to create a database called Moodle. And it's going to set the character set to UTF-8. And the call-8 thing, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it's okay. Click go, and boom. So you can see over here, it's already created a brand new Moodle uh, database. So that was pretty easy. We'll go back to the installation quick start. So I can't just stop there. I've actually got to set up uh, a user and password. And so we're just going to grab this. By the way, we are doing, th this is a local installation. So if you were going to do this like on a live site, you would want to change this, your password to something else. But we're just taking care of this locally. So, you know, nobody can really hack into anything. So just click copy, go back over here. I'm in the Moodle uh, database. Then I'll go to the SQL to run a query and just type that in. Again, kind of got an idea what this does. It's basically creating a new user. It's going to grant these permissions, uh, select, insert, update, yada, yada and uh, it's assigning the name and the password. Click go, and we're done. That's it. And that's it for this video. Next video, we will go to the next step, which will be creating a data directory. Thanks for watching.